Concerts in your car are happening at the Del Mar Fairgrounds, and on October 24th, you can see the Beach Boys live. Here to talk about that upcoming concert and more is one of the founding members of the Beach Boys and rock icon, the legendary Mike Love. Good morning, Mike. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Lauren. It's a pleasure to be on the program. I'm telling you, this is a great way to get the word out about the the concert in your car at the at the fairgrounds. Well, in beautiful let me Del Mar. Let me tell you something. This California girl is excited about it. Already <laughs> have tickets. I'll be in uh, one of the cars in the midsection there, shouting and singing along. So, what can what can we expect? All the all the traditional Beach Boy songs. Everything from Surf and Safari to Kokomo and a lot of things in between, like Good Vibrations and I Get Around and Fun, Fun, Fun and Help Me, Rhonda. What, are, what can I say? <laughs> you know? There, there's a lot of good ones. And this, yeah, a lot of them. This yeah. was, was going to be a big year for, for touring for you. And like so many others, uh, this pandemic has changed things. You've uh, found a way around it with these concerts in your car. I, did you already have one in Ventura? Did that already take no, place? No, you know, we're going to start on the Friday night in Ventura. Saturday, okay. the big night out is is the one at Del Mar. So that, and then we're heading over to Phoenix for Sunday. So we'll we'll be doing three shows, and and we're all excited about it because you know, being you know career musicians for fifty years, we really miss uh, doing shows with the audience. The audience se seems to love our songs so much, and and it's so great to to see that happiness generated and, and doing what we love to do. So we, we, we're just more than thrilled and, and happy to be in one of the more beautiful spots on earth, uh, Southern <laughs> California. Absolutely. You're in one of the most beautiful spots too, uh, up at Lake Tahoe. And I know you uh, recorded like so many other artists, a, a quarantine song, This Too Shall Pass. Yes, I did. I was sitting around thinking how many people, millions of people affected by this pandemic. And so I, I started writing out a, a, a few words and, and pretty soon we, we did it completely differently than we usually do. John Stamos produced the video and he played the drums on it, but it was done from nine different locations all around the country where our, our, our band members live. And so it was very fascinating to see that thing come together. And uh, I understand you're going to play play this two show pass, which I I love it. Thank you. We are at the end of the show this morning. Uh, we had a clip from it earlier. We also had a clip of you singing uh, "Do It Again" with uh, Mark McGrath and John Stamos. Can That's you right. can you talk a little bit? Did the relationship with John Stamos come from your guest appearance on Full House many years ago? Well, it 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 really grew from there, but we first met him when he was Blackie on General Hospital and he came to see us and join us on stage in, on July 4th, I think it was 1985. So we've, we've known John for many, many decades and he's always been, he's a darn good drummer and he's going to be performing with us at, at, uh, at Del Mar, by the way. So I get to see Mike Love and John Stamos on stage at the same time? That's correct, and I'm going to invite Mark McGrath if he can if he can find his way down to San Diego County. Then then we'll invite him too. He's he <laughs> is a lot of fun as well. So we're just going to have a blast on on that Saturday night, October 24th. I'm so looking forward to it. I mean, the Beach Boys. I, I wasn't I wasn't around Mike uh, in in the heyday, <laughs> but uh, my dad made me listen to the Beach Boys, and I just became a lifelong fan. I love all all the classics of the Beach Boys. I'm so excited to hear it. And uh, I just, you know, of, of all the awards and all the accolades uh, in this storied career you've had, is there anything that stands out for you? I just think the best thing of all is the the the, the way the audience loves to sing and party with us and, and 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 it just it just really is heartwarming to see multiple generations, entire families come out, you know, the grandparents and their kids and the, and their children. You know, it's it's truly amazing and it's and it's a wonderful thing. The live music part of it has always been my favorite thing. All right. Well, uh if you if you see a blonde dancing on top of a car, I'll be uh, I'll be dancing <laughs> along. So.
<laughs> okay, well, you'll be the honorary surfer girl then, right? I will be. I will be. You made me feel special as a young California girl. I felt I felt special because of California girls. So. Well, I'm sure that everybody that's tuned in, tuning in uh, thinks the same, that you're special. And Absolutely. thank you for having us on the program and letting the word out about uh, October 24th. Well, we'll be there October 24th. Looking forward to it. Mike Love, thank you so much for joining us, taking the time. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Lauren. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.